Hi everyone, it's Allison from the Protocase Designer team. Today in this tutorial I want to go over the basics of cutouts. So first I'm going to create a consulate enclosure for the purpose of this tutorial, but feel free to use whatever enclosure or panel you'd like. Okay, so now that we have our consulate enclosure made, we need to select the face of the enclosure that we want to actually put cutouts on. Click on Edit Face on the left hand side and select the face you want to edit. You can also get to the face editor by going to edit in the top menu and selecting edit face. Okay, so now we're in the face editor. I'm going to turn on the grid by checking show and snap. You don't necessarily have to do this, but I do find it easier for placing cutouts and other objects. On the left hand side of your screen, you'll see that there's different modes listed. Protocase Designer defaults to cutout mode, and since that's what we're doing today, I'm going to just leave it like that. So underneath, you can see several options under Create and Draw. This is where you can draw basic cutout shapes. So click on the shape that you'd like to create first. I'm going to do a circle. Click on the face to place your circle cutout, and then drag your mouse while holding the left button of your mouse to make the circle the size you need. It's once you release your mouse that the circle will be created, and it will be highlighted. If you want to resize or move the cutout, you click on Move Item and then go back to the cutout. You can make it bigger or smaller, or move it around to your desired location. You can also change its size or location by using the menu on the right hand side of your screen. This is where you can change its X and Y origin as well as its diameter. When you're happy with the cutout, you can press Escape to deselect it. Okay, so we've got our circle cutout made. Let's try adding in a few more. First, I'm going to do an ellipse. I'm going to make it a little bit larger. Okay, and I'm going to press Escape. Now let's do a rectangle. Okay, so this time I'm going to change its placement on the face by changing its X origin and then its Y origin. So now you can see that the rectangle is actually moved from where it originally was placed. One thing to note, once you've created a cutout, it's good to get in the habit of pressing escape right away. Because otherwise, if you try placing your cursor right after making a cutout, it's going to try making another cutout again right on top of what you already did. This is because you're still in cutout mode. So you may place a cutout and then decide that you don't actually need it. You can always select it by clicking on Move Item and selecting the cutout. Then from here, you'll press Delete on your keyboard, or you can also right click to select Delete Selected Objects. Once you're happy with all of the edits that you've made, this is where you press the green check mark to save your changes and exit the face editor. Okay, so now that we're back in the 3D model, you can see all the cutouts that you created. That's about all you need to know about creating basic cutouts in Protocase Designer. I hope you found it helpful. Be sure to check out our more advanced tutorials on creating custom cutouts and using our massive cutout library. If you have any questions or need any more help, feel free to email us at info at protocasedesigner.com. Our Protocase Designer forum is always a great place to ask questions or see if anyone else has asked the same question that you have already. Thanks for watching, guys.